Hi guys, uh, Tom here. Uh, I've got a review for you today. I'm going to review this uh, iOS TD. Um, and this is Fast Text. It's a clone of um, a, I think it's made by uh, Mojo, the, guys, the guy that makes um, Chiyu, which I've also got a review on. I, I think I mentioned this in my Chiyu video. Um, and what this is, <coughs> this is a special little tank where it turns the Chiyu into a hybrid by, if you remove the 510 connection off the Chiyu, and this just screws straight on like that. And it's heavy that is one chunky thing I'm just using the uh, Pro Tank 2 dripper today just because I had it lying around and it doesn't look too bad so it's heavy when it's all together it is one chunky device um, this is very special this tank as it's a tank which is what the T is iOS T and the D it can also be a dripper as well um, so I'm going to go to close up cam and I'll show you the insides of it. Right, so this is it on the GU. We'll remove it from the GU. Let's put that there. And we'll take the drip tip out as well because we don't need that. So it's silver plated connections and they are actually silver plated and it's got uh, uh, adjust an adjustment there for the to stop the battery rattle or to get it to connect to your battery depending on the size of your battery and whatever um, integrated adjustable airflow I say integrated because when you're just using the Chi U normally um, you've got airflow on this 510 connection um, so obviously because that's removed it's in here so take this top bit off here which is the D section now that's the only problem I've had with this at all is there's a bit of a stick in the thread there and that's it that's the only bad thing I've got to say about it and I can't work out what it is because when you look at the threads they're pretty perfect like they were for the actual GU as well. Remove this section here, this middle bit. All these rubbers are nicely sealed, and you also, if I can find it, when it comes, ah, there we go. when it comes, you get this little pack here, and you've got uh, spare or replacement washers, a tiny bit of um, canto screwdriver and a bit of stainless steel mesh which I've used um, so these are two these are just covers basically they're your covers your outside aesthetic pieces there this is your actual tank which is a lot smaller than it looks on pictures and videos it looks a hell of a lot bigger See, it still looks big on this camera, but it's not that big at all. So that's where you're going to fill juice. And right down in the bottom, you've got a tiny little hole. And I'll explain how that works in a minute. This seals really well. Just hand tight. It has got a thing for screwing it with a screwdriver, but there's no need, really. I've had no leaks from it, so... Right. This section comes off there, which just holds your um, airflow control ring. And then this is your last piece with your connections on and your negative and positive post. So, how this works, I'll try and explain it, is now I've seen many ways to do this, you don't have to use stainless steel mesh um, I just quite like using it 
but you don't have to you can just do it with cotton wool so a bit of stainless steel mesh there which is not cut to length it's way too long um, and then you wrap your coil around it what I like to do is slip a bit of eco wool on it first slip a bit of eco wool on it wrap your coil around that uh, and then when it all goes together you just thread your stainless steel mesh through that tiny hole not too far either just a little bit and it'll just feed the juice down um, now it's not the easiest one to build but after a couple of goes everyone gets their style their method that they like to use um, whatever works best and watch a couple of tutorial videos and it will you, you'll figure out a style a way that you that you want to do it that works for you and it's not that hard right guys so I was going to show my uh, build that I've put in here uh, but the video was taking too, too long so I think I'll just do that when I do a rebuild video of this it's basically uh, as you can see, I said I wasn't going to put the um, kick in, but I have, so I've got this section in. Um, kicks turned up to 9, 10 watts-ish. Um, battery is nearly dead. Um, so it's probably not going to be the best uh, demonstration of it that I can give. The build is, like I showed, with a little bit of uh, stainless steel mesh all wound together going up through that tiny little hole in the tank and a bit of eco wool as a sleeve on that um, uh, on that stainless steel mesh that's been turned into a, a wick um, and then I've sort of done a I've done like a little micro coil type thing around it so about 10 wraps but all tight close together probably not the best build I've ever done this I will if you're going to put micro coil in this you're better off using cotton wool and just threading it through and what you can do is just thread it up just to touch that hole and it will just pull the liquid through you don't have to thread it up the hole just touching that hole and it will and then you can use that as a dripper then you just take the tank bit off and screw the dripper bit straight on and it works as a dripper um, so I'll show one of those alternatively you can just use 30 gauge canthole and just do as many wraps as you want to get the arms that you want and you can do as many wraps as you want if you're going to stick your kick in there it doesn't matter you can have as high armage as you like so um, I normally go for about between 5 and 6 wraps if you're going to do it that way so anyway, I'll give it a quick blast like this and then I'll explain more of that in the rebuild video. So as you can see, Produces a nice amount of vapor. Um, the liquid I'm using is 50 50. Um, it's not a particularly warm vape. But I think that's because the vapor has to go up the sides of the tank, and I think that probably cools it down a bit. Um, You can do straight lung inhales off this if you if you like with the vents open, wide open. Um, all around it, <laughs> this the tank is just designed for any sort of build or whatever sort of options you want to stick together. I think it'd suit most people. Um, it's not too complicated to rebuild in it either once you've uh, done it a couple of times. Um, yeah, all around I'd say it's a 
a very good tank and dripper and everything all, all together I think it's a brilliant device and if you've got a GU with I don't think it actually fits on anything else I'm not sure I'll have to check that I think I've heard somebody saying it fits on a King um, but I'll have to check that uh, I'll probably let you know what other mods it fits on when I do the rebuild video so if you're interested in this device have a look out for the rebuild mm. video so thanks for watching guys check out my other videos and subscribe or follow me on twitter at vapes89 so cheers for watching guys